How a hacker might spread his virus by just making a CD, an Autorun CD. How you can put your own files on Autorun on your CDs. First, you open Notepad. And I guess this is all what we will need to write our own Autorun CD. Okay. All you need is Notepad. You get a blank CD and you put two files on the CD. One file, you call it autorun.inf and you write in it autorun between brackets open equal the name of the file you want to launch. Here it's infected.bat. File, save as not text file. All text, all files, autorun, and it's dot inf. Okay? I'm not gonna save it because I already saved it before. And now the other file here is the file that has inside of it our commands, the commands we wanna write. It could launch another file also. Here I'm using that user system. I'm creating a new user called system with the password dollar y dollar tem space slash add to add this user with this password. Not local group administrators system slash add to add the user system to administrators group. Net share cc equal c2 points backslash slash unlimited to share the c drive in the name cc. Unlimited, which means all users have full access to it. Net share dd equal two point d two points backslash slash unlimited sharing the d drive and the name dd and echo disable auto run on your system, please. One infection is enough for today, guys. Do disable auto run on your system. And now, file save as. All files, infected.bat And now you save the file as infected.bat You can use any name you want As long as you change it in autorun.inf And now all you need is to burn the CD When I insert the CD in my computer If I have autorun on which I do now, for the sake of this presentation. Guys, please do turn off your autorun on your system. What will happen? My batch file is gonna get launched and it's gonna run the commands on my system. Please make sure after you test this to delete the user system from your computer and to take the share off the C drive and the D drive. Okay, there you go, thank you guys.